I can't tell if I like this or not. What's up, y'all? I was gonna do, <laughs> I was gonna like flop myself down dramatically, but I just had to position this blanket right because I was not trying to like show. I just wanted this to be a chill type of video. So here we go. Before we get started, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is none other than Dossier. Dossier is my favorite online fragrance brand, y'all. They specialize in inspired by fragrances of cult designer favorites. So what's amazing is you can go on their website type in pretty much any popular designer perfume and the dupe will show up and it's a fraction of the price the perfumes start at 29 dollars which y'all some of these perfumes these days they're going for 100 200 so if there's a scent you've really been wanting to try or you have a favor but you're not trying to spend another hundred dollars or whatever on it see if they have the dupe on dossier this is my favorite fragrance from them it's woody sandalwood it's inspired by la labo and 33 every time i get into an uber it's always like after I spray it and get into an Uber, the Uber driver comments on it. They always say something about it like, oh, you smell so good. Or the last one, I was on the way to the airport and the driver was like, oh my God, like, is that La Lavo? I was like, yes. <sighs> they don't even know the difference. It's so good. But yeah, they have so many different scents. They have men's fragrances, women's fragrances, unisex fragrances. Try it out. I have a discount code for you guys that I will link down below. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee policy. So if you don't like the fragrance after 30 days, even after trying it every day for 30 days, you can return it for a full refund. So thank you so much to Dossier and let's continue on with our Q&A. Gigi Gorgeous 2012. So I'm actually going back to New York, not tomorrow. I keep thinking it's tomorrow, it's not tomorrow. Thank God I have tomorrow to clean and fully pack. But I'm going this week um, and I was just planning some outfits. I already like had an idea of what I was gonna wear and bring, but I just was trying stuff on today and just kind of getting my life together because I was just back home as well, so. Literally just back in LA for a couple days and we're off to the next place. So that's been super fun and I just feel like as I've talked to you guys about in podcasts and in vlogs, I just haven't really been enjoying going out recently, especially in LA. And I feel like most of my summers in LA, especially just these past couple years, you know, of COVID and just not really being able to travel. I just really feel, felt like I did not want to be in LA this whole summer. So we're making the most of it. It's not like I'm traveling so much, but you know, <laughs> definitely more than these last couple of years. And yeah, I've just been loving New York so much. It's just so different than LA and I feel like so much more my lifestyle. Bro, I like to be outside. I like to be walking, public transport, and all of that is just very not LA so just for that sheer fact alone so stay tuned for the New York vlog I might use the fisheye camera I also wanted to start like vlogging more on TikTok let's start with this question how are you finding navigating through your 20s bro it's definitely a it's like a learning process over this past year and just especially recently I felt it heavy like I just feel like I'm changing so much not necessarily changing but just more so like realizing stuff realizing you know boundaries and what my values are i feel like very frustrated recently did you ever have growing pains when you were going through puberty like your body physically hurt like i feel like i'm going through that but it's like mental and emotional it's not like i i'm just going through my life just feeling like these days just feeling like angry all the time but I just definitely noticed like a lot of frustration and anger coming up and just like relief also that I am realizing certain things and like, you know, being proud of myself that I've changed and like made changes in my life. But yeah, it's like painful low key. Like it's like growing pains that are emotional. I really wanted the chic like lay down vibes, but it just wasn't working out. My shoulder was getting so. I think that's very normal. And I've talked about on my podcast, how your twenties, at least like for me, it's been very interesting because kind of up until now your life is kind of like planned out for you going through elementary school middle school high school you know some people go to college it's like you kind of know what the next step is but once you actually are a full adult it's like no one's really guiding you like you know there's kind of a, a blueprint of like okay get married have kids work then retire everybody's at different stages you know like some people are getting married and having kids some people are 30 years old living with their friends everyone's just in, in a different place everyone's different and so it can be kind of hard to know what's right for you like what the right path is for you who the right friends are for you what do i even like it can be kind of overwhelming and I feel like over this past year was the first time I really, really have felt that. Now it's been like very existential, like. But I think what helps me navigate it is 
having a strong support system, people I can talk to, checking in with my body and just keeping my life in balance in that way. So whether that's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, like I'm not saying I have it all figured out and like, oh my God, yeah, I think I'm, I'm navigating it perfectly, but it's just like, these are things that help, you know? Something that's also really helped me is following a ton of, you know, therapists on Instagram. Y'all, those infographics be helping. This was also the first year I tried therapy and I believe that was like another question. Yeah, someone said, how do you help yourself if therapy isn't working? So this is the first year that I tried therapy and I went initially for anxiety. It's like low key since the world opened back up. I just feel like I've been experiencing a lot more anxiety, but the thing is I've always dealt with anxiety. It's just always kind of been like in waves throughout my life so i was like oh let me try therapy and y'all i just i did not have a good first experience it was like fine but it was just so surface level and if you know me like bro i it's like this is literally i don't even like mean to toot my own horn but i swear the stella ray podcast has gone more in depth than this therapist was and i'm not saying like i'm a professional at all but it's just like it was very like intro to everything. Like it was like for someone that has never done anything mental health related or read a book or like watched a video or anything. Like she was like, well, have you ever tried breathing? I'm like, bro, yes. Why do you think I'm talking to you? <laughs> I just felt like every time I would try to like bring up things that were a little deeper, like it was just kind of disregarded. And that's like why I went. It's like, bro, I've been doing all this shit by myself and I would like some professional help. So I took a break. I like had a few sessions. I like broke up with them. <laughs> I do want to find someone who's just a better fit for me and like my goals. But you can definitely do a lot of things on your own. I think for me, what's helped a lot is following therapists on IG. I don't know about you, but I'm on IG a lot. So having, you know, just helpful posts and content that I'm looking at on the daily has just been so helpful and then they'll recommend different books and there's just there is a lot of free resources out there that you can use for yourself or like do yourself because I know therapy is not available for everyone it's not accessible for everyone it can be expensive and just the process of finding the right fit can be so exhausting tedious annoying but also just you know disclaimer I'm not saying, oh, you can just, you don't need therapy, you can just like do it yourself. Especially for very severe cases of different mental health issues, you know, a lot of the times you need a professional. So I'm not saying like you can do it all on your own, but there are a lot of resources out there. So I will link my faves down below, but if you follow me, you've probably seen me repost some of them before, but it's just like so refreshing to see that on my timeline. This is a good question. What are some insecurities you struggle with that are not related to physical appearance? I like this question. It's like everything's connected that I'm talking about. Um, again, I've talked about this on the podcast, but for me, definitely, I don't even know if it's an insecurity, but or like if I would define it immediately as an insecurity, but definitely just people pleasing. Again, I've talked about this a lot on my podcast, but I feel like it's very, you know, for women in general in our society, it's very, ingrained in us to people please you know to be nice you know femininity is like oh man i'm just gonna be quiet and sit here and be pretty i don't have an opinion and i'm not gonna make a scene and i'm not gonna be a bitch or bossy or anything and a lot of the times we just like go along with stuff or you know it's like oh well i'll put their needs before mine and then also you know depending on how you grew up this can also be ingrained in you and this isn't necessarily this isn't like a gender specific thing but i just know in our society how you know genders taught to us how we're socialized based on our gender is very like literally the best example is if you watch Jersey Shore season two when Vinny's mom comes to the Miami house and she's cooking for all of them and they're all like wow she's a true she's the best kind of woman she's putting everyone's needs before her own like goals like oh my god wifey goals so I guess that is something that's been hard for me again I don't know if I would Im immediately call it like oh that's my insecurity but it's like so let me know what yours would be. This girl says, I sound so bro-y, but what are your career goals? Bro, I feel like there's like so many things that I 
think about doing but for now i am just really happy with what i do i think one of my immediate things would just be to i mean definitely just grow my platform in general but i feel like especially my podcast like i would love to grow that and maybe that's like low-key an insecurity like i feel like i would love to interview people and just like have more diverse content on there but then it's like oh like i don't know i don't have the hugest platform so then i feel like kind of awkward asking people or like the thought of asking someone to be on my podcast it's like it's like, I just want to grow it and then invite people on. But it's like, how are you going to grow if you don't have the content that you want to be doing? So that's also, I guess, maybe an insecurity. But, but yeah, there's also things like outside of content creation that interest me. Um, but I feel like immediately, like, those are the things. I just really like my platform. I like the community and I like how we can be serious, but we can also have lols. And I've always, like, been into that. Y'all know I've done YouTube for a long time, but even before YouTube, like, I was always content creating. Like, I had this little tape recorder and i would like record radio shows on it in like fifth grade like i was nine ten years old doing that and i would make magazines like i would draw them out staple them there was like a photocopy place and i like remember this specific one like i photocopied it and gave it to my friends so i've just always enjoyed like media what are your best travel hacks this is a good question since i have been traveling a little bit more i feel like back in 2016 i was like i became such a pro at traveling because i was like just flying so much then like flying down to LA I went to Europe like multiple times that year I mean looking back I guess it's like it wasn't that much but I feel like it was just the frequency of how much I was flying and this is the first year probably since then that I've been flying that much even though I haven't like gone anywhere crazy it's still just like the frequency of flying and stuff I really try to not check a bag first time i ever went to europe they lost my bag luckily i was able they returned it to me a few days later but that was like the worst thing because all my stuff was in there and i didn't have any clothes or products or like anything it was horrible especially getting off a flight that long like oh my god so ever since then i never really checked a bag until last year i don't know i just felt like oh i wanted to be a little bit more of a baddie it was my first like real trip since the pandemic so i did end up checking a bag every time i check a bag I end up overpacking. There's so much stuff I don't end up using or wearing. And it's just like that risk of you're gonna lose my bag, you know? I guess for like a, a direct domestic flight, not a big deal, but anyway. I just try to have a carry-on bag and have my personal item bag. And for my personal item bag, I always have a backpack. And in the front part of the backpack, I put all my like in-flight needs, a snack, candy. I always bring cough drops. Sometimes my throat will get like dry on um, especially a long flight that I say alcohol for. I put my toothbrush in there, ibuprofen, liquid IVs, use my code Ray for 25% off. My charger, like everything that I could need goes in that front pocket. Try to bring only like a couple pairs of shoes, like sh basic shoes that you can wear with a lot of different outfits. I also finally have TSA pre-check, so thank God that's like a way for the saver. I think the biggest hack of all is to be aware of your surroundings and not be annoying. You know how many people are so annoying at the airport like the airport and just planes it makes me realize how dumb people are like it's that vibe of someone this literally happened today me working out in the gym a guy working out in the gym no one else in the gym this guy comes right in between us and starts doing his little leg day why you could have gone over here you could have gone over here you could have gone over here he goes right in between us and it's already like I feel like I'm too close to the first guy. That's what an airport gives me. It's like people are moving slowly. They're not getting out of the way. They're not going in the flow of traffic. I don't get it. I walk fast. I am always aware of my surroundings. I like to get to where I'm going. If I need to pause, I step to the side. My travel hack is to get the fuck out of the way. Thanks. <laughs> You know what I love though is like when you're in line for the body scanner, but there's so many people and people are taking so long, they just like start letting they start letting people go through the metal detector. They're just like go. <laughs> so I don't really know if that's a hack for anyone. Um, but yeah, I feel like I always see like hacks for a 12 hour flight and they're like in first class and they're like, I do this face mask and then I drink a hydration and I do an eye mask and then I use the silk pajamas that emirates first class provides me with great hack i'm gonna let me just add that to my like to-do list for the next time i fly southwest <laughs> let me know your travel hacks down below how is your dating life going dude i feel like someone asked me this last q a too but bro i swear i'm just not like i'm very much single in the sense of like i'm not dating i'm not going out i'm not did you get a girl's number no i'm not getting any numbers that's a jersey shore reference by the way I'm just very much like focused on myself and like what I want to do next and friends. I just always think 
of that quote from that like old lady i don't know if she was like the world's oldest lady but like they were like oh how what's your secret to living so long and she was like i avoid men wasn't it like i avoid men and like eat oatmeal or something like literally mood i really feel because bro like this is the thing not to like go on a full rant sesh but it's just like there's so many guys in this world that are just so like horrible to women and you know i just see it all the time bro like women will like destroy themselves for bro look at fucking chloe and tristan you know like you don't deserve the stress of it all you know like you don't deserve that emotional turmoil and like i'm not saying oh my god every man is like that or like oh my god like you know we don't deserve romance and love but it's just like i do think everybody especially every woman needs to have you know time to truly just be single in the sense of like focusing on yourself on your friendships on what you love to do your passions your career doing what makes you happy and like find like finding yourself when you're good being alone you are not going to put up with bullshit and that's genuinely how i feel at this point like especially being in a big city in la in my recent chit chat get ready with me i was talking about you know more in depth about like dating in la and like the vibes it's so true like when you are comfortable being by yourself and by yourself is in like you're not texting nobody you're not entertaining anybody you're not dating period like you're not getting any sort of attention or like that validation you're not gonna put up with any sort of bullshit because it's like why would i be stressing over you when i could be just chilling by myself and i know we all relate like having high standards and just like standards period it can feel very lonely at times because it's like bro like oh my god there's bullshit at every corner but you know that's when i think prioritizing friendships and like different forms of love outside of romantic love is important like i felt so just loved on my birthday and it's like there was no romantic love but just the love from like my friends from y'all from my family just like from myself and just like i thoroughly enjoyed that like that was such like it was so eye-opening i was like bro this is like a good time so anyway that's like the current vibes um and you know i do like to keep a lot of things private but i share that just to put that out there for any woman that you know is going through any sort of bullshit and you're sick of it it's like bro you can opt out you don't have to you don't have to date you know or if you're in a relationship that's like really just being it's just really hard on you break up be alone for a while. I feel like society puts so much pressure on us, especially, you know, if you're around my age, like as 30 is creeping up, there's just this pressure to like get married and like, oh my God, like be coupled up. And it's like, oh my God. And you really don't have to partake in any of that if you don't want to. And even if you do want to, but it just isn't happening for you yet, you know, like the right relationship or the right person, I think you just have to like believe that it will. And like, again, like just keep focusing on yourself and like, me me at me just keep focusing on yourself bitch like it's gonna be fun but yeah like on your friendships and just what you love to do and therefore your life will be fulfilling either way because i don't want to be like waiting around for prince charming okay okay can we just okay i i just had to like share this with somebody did you guys ever watch enchanted great film so many like oh my god it's just I hadn't seen it in so long i watched it when i was back home the guy is so hot like his character He's like a single dad but he's like <laughs> or like i remember the first time watching the sound of music as an adult realizing how hot the dad was like <laughs> these single dads i don't know not that i'm like manifesting that but just like i think it's just that like nurturing vibe in a man is like hot you know like so I think that's all I'm going to answer. Also, I'm starting to get so hungry. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for asking me questions and for watching. Stay tuned for the next vlog. It's going to be another little travel vlog. I'm so excited. And don't forget to check out Dossier down below. I have that discount code for you guys. You should try Woody Sandalwood. Unless you don't like scents like that, but you should try it. Love you guys so much and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone. I don't have any outro music downloaded, so I'm just going to sing it for you. I don't know the words. Ha ha ha.